Ty there. There's some patrol and Ford Maverick owners. Uh, my back brake caliper was, is leaking oil. And we're just going to put a new kit through it instead of buying one. Uh, so we're just taking the back wheel off. And that's the kit there. It's just a couple of rubbers and washers. Oh, yeah, they're ready to go. Just take the back wheel off and then we'll show you what else is there. Okay, thanks. Bye. So uh, we removed the oil. Took a bit to get off because it's a little bit rusted. Um, and now we're going <coughs> to take the brake caliper off. Uh, and then take it apart and put the new kit through it. Uh, we'll show you how we do that in a tick. Uh, we're just going to take this brake caliper off. Just releasing the uh, brake pressure here. Releasing the brake fluid pressure here with the fluid, uh, the, yeah, what's that called? Fine. That's the, that's the bleeder. The bleeder. Just make sure you, you we'll release. Take this hose off. And then there's the hose, the brake fluid hose, I presume. There it is. It needs to be taken off. You can see they get a bit rusty at times, you just got to clean it up with a bit of paper. And we've got that, got the um, hose off. Just there. Yeah, there's a little washer that's got to go there. And that. Uh, we just got the brake caliper off. Give it a quick wash. It was just two those two bolts there to get it off. Uh, two bolts here. Let's remove the caliper, brake caliper, rear brake caliper. Then we're just going to take it apart and have a look. So there's a lot of brake fluid over it, oil, from it leaking. So we're just going to take it apart and have a look. So I've just taken the brake calipers, brake pads out of the caliper, the piston, which had the old uh, rubber on it which we've got to replace with there's the new rubbers and that there and that's why it was leaking because that piston the rubber on it has perished where is it in there yeah and that's in your hand isn't it the old one oh that's a boot that's the, the old boot dust that was, had it dust boot dust boot there's a seal there another seal in there so we've got to clean this and put the new ones in and hopefully yeah, okay. Just make sure everything's clean and rub over it with brake fluid. So you don't kink. Yeah, you don't kink it, yeah. This, that's that singular seal. Yes. Now I'm back into where the piston is. Okay, that's in. And I've got that one in. New one. And that's the other new one there we've got to put in. Probably put that in on the um, piston. Right, I'll put the piston back in. And then just putting a new kit through the colour for it. I'll just show you when we put this uh, this seal uh, boot on the um, dust seal. The dust seal on the piston. So if that perishes it can leak or the other one both 
allows dust to get on the face of this and then it'll wear on that seal. Okay. That's where you get the leak from. Alright. Something's got to go over there. Oh, this. Now that came out of there, didn't it? Hmm. A bit of wire. And it's also got to go on that. Uh, we'll finally put in the piston and uh, the seal inside inside the piston um, uh, area, and then the piston itself. There's a the boot, the dust boot cover, which is a bit difficult to put in, but you've got to feed that in, and hopefully it connects onto the lip of onto the um, piston itself and the outer casing there's a lip there as well so hopefully it hooks onto that also replace the rubber in this um, bolt area and we we'll just hope and put the caliper the brake pads back in and hopefully be okay okay